this. Um, if that feels like okay to you, I want you to move down to the first fret, and this one's going to be pretty adventurous. This is obviously the p toughest part in the fretboard to actually do this. So again, so this is now an F chord, and I have F, C, and G, so that's technically an F sus2. What I'm going to do is go up to the second fret um, on the third string and play the fifth upon fifth like this. So that goes A, E, B, so that makes like an F major 9 with a sharp 11. Definitely a pretty challenging uh, finger stretch there. So again, if that's tricky, slow down, back off this chord. You don't necessarily have to do that one. Um, but I do want you to notice how this pattern, which we use for the minor chord, the, uh, the second grouping of fifth started on the same fret as the original grouping. Fifth fret, seventh, ninth, then fifth fret, eighth, tenth. So we'll think of that as the minor pattern, in this ca case A minor. This would be the major pattern. So that one, the second grouping of fifth starts one fret ahead of where the first grouping started. So that's going to be the major form. Now if I move up to the 10th fret and start on D and make the minor pattern, you get D minor 11. And then down to B flat at the 6th fret for the major pattern. So I went A minor, F major, D minor, to B flat major. And um, absolutely, before you get um, started practicing as an, an entire exercise, that's a warm up I use for the left hand. Um, you know, w the first thing you want to really do is just work on that little grouping of fifths. And again, it's sort of arbitrary where you actually start that. It could be anywhere. And once that's comfortable there, then try to gradually move things down the fretboard. And I would say that anytime you're having trouble with any kind of finger stretch, it could be a scale or a chord or anything you're playing at all, a lick or a scale or a chord, try to play it in the upper position where the frets are you know, going to be more manageable and everything's closer in. And as you get confident with it in this upper position, gradually bring it down to the, uh, the more troublesome areas of the fretboard down at the end here where the, f the frets are so wide. It's hard to make those stretches. So, uh, of course, that little exercise I was playing before is tabbed out at the beginning of this video. You can check that out for more detail. So, um, that's left hand stretching. Hello, my name is Pierre Ben-Susan. I would like to play for you a tune that I wrote some years ago. It's called The Alchemist. And you are going to see also that in order to get there, you want to bend the ring finger towards the fourth fret. On the third bass string, but I decide to not play that third bass string with my thumb, but with my index. <laughs> 